Yan, wala akong sound. <laughs> Again, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Aksu and Kaligasan TV. Nalimutan ko na naman i-on yung aking mic up entry kasi naalala ko yung isang ventilador dito na malakas ang hangin. So guys, welcome to Aksu and Kaligasan TV. We are on our uh, season 2 episode 4 and today, I would like to greet everyone. Happy World Bee Day! So, araw po ng mga bubuyo ngayong hapon na to. So, yan. Sineselebrate natin. At mamaya mga kaibigan, we will talk about bees. Ano ba yung essentiality ng mga bubuyog? Ano ba yung nagagawa nila? But before that, let us start our uh, day with of course uh, a prayer. Uh, and let this day be blessed for the environment and hopefully for a better future. Maraming maraming sa lahat po sa uh, nag-send sa atin ngayon ang ating prayer of the day mula sa family ni Ma'am Rachel Baldonado ang uh, ESD uh, chairperson ng Aksyon Kalikasan. Uh, lagay po natin ang ating sarili sa presensya ng Panginoon at uh, sabayan po natin ang awiting ito ng ating uh, pagdarasal ngayong hapong ito. Intro mo na. Intro mo na. Di mo na namin. Yon, maraming maraming salamat sa panalangin at kanta na yon sa pamilya ni Ma'am Rachel Baldonado. And guys, I hope okay po tayong lahat ngayong araw na to. Alam ko marami nang pumalik sa trabaho pero patuloy pa rin pong uh, uh, binabato ng isang uh, problema ang buong mundo. Uh, right now, I think we have around 5 million uh, uh, cases worldwide of the COVID-19 with close to 330,000 
deaths across the world in the Philippines, 800 plus po yan ang deaths and our cases is jumping close to uh, 13,000. So, hindi po biro itong uh, mga nangyayaring ito and we hope that, uh, you know, uh, we can survive this and uh, we can all, uh, <laughs> natawa ko doon sinabi ni Pangon Duterte, there will be no vaccine until 2021. So guys, stay alive until then. So yan, yung laban natin. We need to still to stay alive until there is a vaccine. And before we start today's segments on environmental news update, I would also like to share na mayroon po pa lang na natimbog no, na underground medical facility for the Chinese COVID uh, positive patients no kakabalita lang yan nakita ko sa Newsfeed ko, may sariling hospital pala yung mga Chinese para sa mga COVID positive patients nila. Aba, magaling. <laughs> sa mga tindahan nga eh, meron na silang sariling translation na kalagay doon na English and Chinese. Tapos sa Facebook, meron ng Philippines, province of China. Just ko po. What's happening to our country? This is unacceptable. Okay, today, let's start up with the news. Ano ba makibigyan? What is the World Bee Day? And to give more uh, information about that, uh, World Bee Day, let us watch this video. Yeah, sandali lang ha. Okay, problema yung video natin. Eh. Yan. Ito na, ito na ulit. Panoorin natin ang World B-Day. Ano ba yung World B-Day na yan? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, with the World Bee Day. So bees are very important because they are key to pollination. No? So the main reason why flowers and plants uh, propagate is because of bees. So these creatures are very, very important in keeping uh, uh, plants alive, in keeping their uh, reproduc reproduction. So kung mawawala po siya, actually they are under threat. Many bees are already dying. And their numbers are slowly uh, going down. No? At kung mawawala po ito, it will be very critical uh, to human existence. Katulad din po yun ng butterflies which are going also extinct. No? If these key elements, a key uh, species of our planet die, so technically we might uh, go extinct as well. No? So yun yung nakakatakot na na realidad and it is also the reason 
why we are celebrating the World Bee Day today. You know? Okay, simulan natin mga ibigan sa iba pang mga balita. No? Ito, environmental news pa rin tayo. Ito, may nagpadala sa atin kasama natin sa Aksyon Kalikasan at Green Party of the Philippines. Ito na. Ang revelation, the biggest virus on earth is still human behavior. Ayan, mga kaibigan, kitang-kita niyo naman. Oh, may nag-warning dito, puputulin daw kasi nagbo-broadcast daw ng music na walang copyright. Eh, ito naman ang bin-broadcast natin, no copyright music ah. Baka yung ginamit dun sa B na ano. Ah, pakahirap naman mag-broadcast ng ano. Tanggalan na lang kaya natin ng sound yung mga yan. <laughs> ah, pakistik. Okay guys, eto. Biggest virus on earth is still human behavior mga kaibigan. Ayan. Bakit? Kasi nagkakalat ng... Ayan yung mga face mask ko. Look at those face mask mga kaibigan. No? Ayan o. No? Ang dami. Tinatapon lang. Pagkasuot, tinatapon sa labas. Sana po mga kaibigan. Huwag po nating itapon yung mga uh, face mask na yan ng ganyan. No? It, there is a proper way to throw it. Actually, uh, throw it on a, on a trash can properly and not on the streets kasi napakadelikado po ng pinaggagawa natin na yan. No? Change our behavior, tulad ng social distancing, di ba? Social distancing tayo na social distancing. Pero yung mga tao gumala sa mall, they will go out to the mall and they avoid social distancing. So, if we continue with this, we will end up having more uh, virus infections in the long run. So, that is, I think, very unfortunate. So, ito pa, environmental news. This one is from the Green Party of the Philippines. Ang sabi nila, the revival of gardens at home through pharmacy is essential key towards providing society with organic medicines, which are also preventive in nature. Remember that prevention is better than cure. People get sick because of lack of vitamins, nutrients, and healthy immune system. Traditional medicine should also be looked into as an integral part of the ship towards a green and healthier future. So, napaka-essential yung magbibig. Ito yung nasa picture. This is called the star anise seed. No? Nakita na natin sa isang ano yan, Korea novela na uh, itong huwarang. No? Nakita natin na very useful itong star anise sa traditional medicine. And then there are here herbal medicines as well like oregano, yung mga lagundi. But they are being tagged as ano yan? Uh, ano yan, ang, ang gamot na ito ay blah 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 yung parang nakalagay na, na hindi ito gamot at di maaari gamitin gamot sa anumang uri ng sakit and that is actually wrong because some of this most of these herbal medicines actually have curative nature no and at the same time we should focus also on prevention no vitamins minerals preventing people from getting sick rather than curing the sick people may sakit na sila. So, saka natin gagamutin. What if we can prevent this sickness? So, yan yung uh, gustong iparating sa atin ng post na yan, environmental use natin to today uh, from action uh, kalikasan. Okay. So, yan, balik tayo sa ating main topic for today, ang uh, World B-Day. So, ano discuss natin? Ano ba yung... Uh, Uh, World Be Day, and today we will share with you a video from the United Nations, the UN, uh, discussing about their first ever celebration of the World Be Day. So the UN, the UN also declared that this day, May 20, 2020, will be the first ever worldwide celebration of the World Be Day. So let's watch this video.
The importance of bees is that they are crucial to our food system. So from almonds all the way to zucchini, if we don't have good, healthy honeybees, we won't have good, healthy crops. So napakalinang bees are very critical to uh, the survival of our species and also to the planet. That is why the UN specifically declared May 20 as uh, the World Bee Day. So let us continue with our study. Napaganda ng mga natutunan natin dito. Nag-greet lang natin yung mga nanonood sa atin. Marlon Revay Aliman yan, and Ran Tubig. Good afternoon and thank you for dropping by our Action Kalikasan TV for today. So let's continue with our World Bee Day celebration. So uh, alam ko yung makikaibigan ako na nag-aalaga ng uh, bees. Uh, ginagawa ka na yung, ano yan? yung honey. No? Maraming gumagawa niyan. So honey are actually uh, very healthy. But we should also avoid... Uh, uh, farming these bees too much kasi baka mamaya hindi na magpropagate wala nang bees sa wild and uh, when bees in the wild are gone so their functionalities in uh, aiding the pollination of uh, plants will be uh, greatly hampered. So let us share with you ladies and gentlemen some interesting facts about bees Here you go Napaka-interesting nun, no? Nakaka-apply around the world pala yung mga binayang four times. What? Three to four times uh, in their lifetime. Tapos meron lang ano to? Queen bee is only the bee that lay eggs. O ba Isa lang per colony. Napaka-interesting, ba She lays. No? Dami nung nilalay niya. Queen bee can live up to five generations. Wow. Very, very interesting facts about bees. Kaya nga delikado na ma-wipe out yan. And when you kill a hive, so when you kill the queen bee, napakahira. Parang the, that hive, if they lost the queen bee, if the queen bee dies, so the existence of the whole hive uh, is no longer important. Kasi wala na. Parang pinatay mo presidente, wala na magmamando sa, sa mga business. So very, very interesting. So now let's talk about, eto na yung, worry natin guys what if all the bees in the world will disappear what will happen no what will happen to us just in case ladies and gentlemen just in case that all of the bees in the world 
disappear. So we're sharing this video purely for educational purposes to during this World Bee Day 2020, uh, the first ever World Bee Day. And actually, Kalikasan, in essence, Bokasi is supportive of uh, preservation of wildlife and the preservation of biodiversity. So here goes, ladies and gentlemen. Ito na, ang tanong natin masasagot na, what if all the bees disappear? Bees have a bad reputation, but they're actually pretty awesome creatures who are just misunderstood. Yes, we're all afraid of being stung, but the chances of that happening are actually quite low. Bees are crucial to the ecosystem, and life as we know it would be drastically different without them. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how our lives would change if all the bees in the world disappeared. So what are bees? Bees are a type of flying insect and are a part of the same family that includes wasps and ants. There are actually more than 20,000 different species of bees, from the most common European honeybee to the furry bumblebees. According to fossil records, bees date back to around 100 million years ago, and since then have been an integral part of the development of the Earth's ecosystems. So why are bees important? Bees are an incredibly important factor in the reproduction cycle of flowers. They live in large colonies and feed on the nectar and pollen of plants, provides them with the energy they need to fly around, and pollen provides them with protein and other nutrients that they need to survive. Bees see different wavelengths of light than we do, so flowers act like colorful beacons to them. They fly in and collect as much pollen and nectar as they can before moving to another plant. Back at the hive, the unique structures and specialized bee within transform what is collected into honey, beeswax, royal jelly, and propolis. These products have been farmed by humans since at least the times of the ancient Egyptians and Greeks due to their unique properties. During the collection of these substances, pollen also gets stuck on their bodies. So by flying from plant to plant, bees pollinate flowers as they go. They are regarded as critical pollinators and are responsible for the pollination of 70 out of the top 100 crop species of the world that feed around 90% of the human population. In Europe alone, more than 4,000 different vegetables rely on pollinators to fertilize them. Beyond those crops, they also pollinate countless other species of plants, which form the basis of every food chain. These plants are eaten by smaller animals that are then eaten by larger animals, and therefore the entire ecosystem relies on them. But if bees were no longer around to fulfill this role, then there would be catastrophic consequences. It would mean the loss of 70% of the most important crops in the world for human consumption, and a large number of food chains would be broken. Supermarkets would only have half as many fruit and vegetables as they offer today. There would also be major shortages of dairy because dairy cows, sheep, and goats all rely on bee-pollinated food. It would become far more difficult to rear animals for meat, so food prices would skyrocket. Diets would be restricted to crops and animals that didn't rely on bee pollination, things such as pork, chicken, rice, and corn. Within a relatively short period of time, malnutrition could become a major problem for most of the world's population. Cotton would also cease to grow, which would force us to find alternative materials for clothing and likely make fabrics far more expensive. All of these effects would send a sharp shock to the world economies, with people scrambling for the resources to retain the lifestyles that they have become accustomed to. Although bees aren't going to disappear overnight, there is a serious concern about their falling numbers around the world. In the US, for example, there has been a 40% loss of commercial honeybees since 2006, and similar figures have been reported everywhere else. It's thought that this is happening due to a number of factors that are changing the environment. The greatest concern is industrial agriculture, which uses large amounts of pesticides targeted at other insects but also kills bees. The destruction of natural habitats to clear areas for farmland, as well as the change in global temperatures and weather patterns due to global warming, are also thought to be major contributors. But even though bee populations are already collapsing, it's not too late to do something about it. Ecological farming, which protects the environment by not using chemicals and encouraging biodiversity, is a great start, and wider protection of wild habitats would further support the growth of different species. Limiting the effects of global warming is also crucial, because bee colonies require stable weather patterns to survive. But if all else fails and the bees do disappear, there's one option that remains, humans performing the pollination tasks themselves. However, this would require a great deal of manpower and would likely make food far more expensive than it is today. So in conclusion, bees are vitally important to the pollination of plant life around the world, and it would be catastrophic if they were to disappear. Food supplies would dwindle, whole ecosystems would die out, and even fabrics would become harder to produce. It's crucial that more steps are taken to prevent this from happening, and since there's already a good understanding of why it's taking place, measures shouldn't be too difficult to implement as long as everyone's on board with solving the problem. 
bees play a crucial role on Earth. Some even claim that if they go extinct, humanity would be next. So with the dramatic decline in bee population, should we be worried? What happens if the bees all die? Simply put, if a plant produces a flower, you can bet that bees help them reproduce. This long-standing working relationship evolved with flowers being bright and fragrant to attract bees, and the bees' fuzzy, velcro-like bodies helping them to efficiently transfer pollen from the male part of the plant to the female part. This seemingly simple mechanism is directly responsible for the production of 70% of fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts we consume on a daily basis. 70%, which translates into almost $200 billion in global agriculture revenue. This huge responsibility is accomplished by droves of commercial bees reared by professional beekeepers for the sole purpose of being transported to farms or orchards to pollinate crops. But since 2006, these hardworking, busy bees have been mysteriously disappearing. This colony collapse disorder has seen an average of one-third of commercial bees abandoning their hives. In fact, some beekeepers have even reported that 90% of their bees have simply buzzed off. In some colonies, mites, viruses, and parasites have been to blame, but many are now looking at a class of insecticides called neonicotinoids. This neurotoxin is used to kill off crop-eating insects and pests, but also affects the central nervous system of bees when they consume contaminated nectar. And since nectar is brought back to hives, the entire colony can be affected, leading to mass confusion and disorientation. On top of this, other factors such as extremely cold and long winters, a lack of genetic diversity in commercial bees, and less variable nectar in the fields may be at fault. If the trend continues, entire food chains and webs may be at risk. Take almond plants, for example. The hulls of these nuts are used as feed for farm cattle and chickens. Fewer bees means fewer almonds, which could mean declining livestock and ultimately less milk, cheese, eggs, and meat production. Not to mention almonds are used in cereal, baking, and many other food products. Beef and dairy cows would also be harshly affected by the vanishing alfalfa fields, which are used to harvest hay for cattle. Looking for that morning buzz? Considering bees pollinate Coffea arabica, whose seeds we grind for coffee, you can count that out. Without bees, our diets would consist of mostly corn, wheat, and rice, as they are wind-pollinated plants. Like your clothes, not only is cotton the biggest cash crop in the US, it also makes up about 35% of the world's fiber use. So you can forget about those blue jeans, towels, mattresses, and high-quality paper products. Simply put, we'd be living in a completely different world without bees, not to mention suffering a substantial economic strain from their disappearance. So while we may not necessarily go extinct should the downward trend persist, a world without the buzz of bees would definitely sting. Want a free copy of our new book? Now you can get one from audible.com slash ASAP, which is the leading provider of audiobooks with over 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature. Our book just came out this past week and it covers a ton of questions that have never been answered in our videos, which we're so excited to share with you. You can download it or another audiobook of your choice for free at audible.com slash ASAP. Special thanks to Audible for making these videos possible and to you for continually supporting our show and science education. It means a lot. And if you missed our live science stream last week where we performed the periodic table song live and answered your burning questions, be sure to check it out here or by using the link in the description. And subscribe for more weekly science videos. Now you know, ladies and gentlemen, those are the things that will happen. Those are the things that will change if all the bees in the world die. That is why today we are celebrating World Bee Day so that the bees will be protected not only for the protection of our lifestyle, yung mga ayaw na magdamit ng hindi cotton, so siyempre hindi naman para doon yun, kundi ito para sa coexistence nating mga tao. So we need bees in order for us to exist. Uh, animals need bees for them also to live, so we need to protect them. Kasi, sabi nga doon sa uh, previous video, uh, meron tinatawag na neocotinoids and then there are also certain types of uh, chemicals that are uh, killing bees. Pero ang pinaka nakapagtaka, why are all some of the bees just buzzing off? Nawawala na lang sila. So probably again, the climate is really changing and some of the creatures that are not uh, susceptible to very hot climate, they will eventually uh, be left out. They will go extinct because they're not they're not used to this climate. If they won't, won't adapt, they will eventually die. So that's the danger, the real uh, danger of uh, climate change. And that is the reason why Akshan Kalikasan 
is founded because we want to help people, we want to invite people to join the cause of uh, spreading the education, teaching them what to do, how to be environmentally responsible. We also want to go to the barangays for the Barangay Green Governance Program to educate the uh, barangay officials, to educate the, the people of the barangay themselves, educate people, educate students on how this could be done. Besides that, there are actual things that we are doing in Action Kalikasan that aims to uh, maintain the balance of nature. Mamaya, I will show you some videos ng isa sa naging project niya dyan sa Ternate Cavite ng Action Kalikasan on uh, uh, replanting do sa mga wetlands natin kasi napakahalaga po ng, uh, ng mga wetlands na yan. No? So, yon uh, Happy World Bee Day sa inyong lahat. And kung may mga tanong pa kayo mga kaibigan, you can just drop a comment and ask uh, about the questions. If you have report about the environment, you can also uh, uh, give your comment or if you have random question about action kalikasan or the environment, just uh, add a comment in our live video. So ano po ba mga kaibigan, what is action kalikasan? So our main waves website of action kalikasan, andyan guys sa baba yan. Please visit www.actionkalikasan.org. That is our main website. So, Action Kalikasan is open for membership to any Filipino 18 years old and above. Those below 18 years of age may apply for membership provided that they submit a written authorization from a parent or guardian. So, we are open to membership to all Filipinos who want to be part of the environmental advocacy. So, you can start by completing our online application. The online application, ladies and gentlemen, is located in our website. That's www.actionkalikasan.org. That's on the on your screen. Scrolling down below uh, the this live. Ayan po, ayan, nasa baba, ayan. Tinuturo ko. Ayan. So, we have local chapter development starting with those in Cavite province at the city, municipal, and school level. So we have chapters in Cavite. We also have chapters in uh, in uh, Metro Manila. So Action Kalikasan is founded by uh, our uh, outgoing president, Mr. Roy Cabonegro, who we really would like to thank. Maraming maraming salamat po sa maging inspiration and sa pag-start ng uh, movement na ito. And now our uh, incoming president, uh, interim president is uh, Chad Velasquez of Laguna and our vice uh, uh, president is uh, Mam Rowena so resurrection so yan we uh, I, I'm one of the the officers of Action Kalikasan the uh, member at large and also I'm the one in charge with Action Kalikasan TV so for members we o we offer a two-part membership training to capacitate members in their meaningful involvement in Action Kalikasan's work through Action Kalikasan Glean Leadership Academy offered every April and October. So we we, we are at Action Kalikasan is finding a way to really uh, bring back this uh, Green Leadership Academy online. The, the, the main problem is yung Green Leadership Academy talaga kasi na Action Kalikasan is an experiential learning. Probably with social distancing that could be achieved and then siguro magsha-shadow up punta sa dyan sa ating mga eco tour sites lalo na uh, karamihan sa Cavite for you to experience to be part of nature that's why we are inviting everyone to really be part of action uh, kalikasan no and now ladies and gentlemen pakita namin sa inyo one of our uh, projects in action kalikasan is the Ternate Wetlands Conservation Work Camp so, we will share you this video. Ito po yung nangyari sa tinatawag natin Wetlands Conservation Work Camp of Action Kalikasan. So, sali na kayo. I hope that I would interest you to join this very uh, good organization. Advocacy for Environment is about time that we start caring for our environment. So, ito po yung isa sa mga naging project na Action Kalikasan. Ah, babalik kasi siya. Ang ganda ng umaga po, Mr. Roy Cabinegro, ang presidente po ng Aksyong Kalikasan. Ano po masasabi niyo sa proyektong ito? Ah, ito pong ginagawa natin sa Ternate, sa pagpagtulungan ng uh, 
uh, mga kagawad at uh, bantay dagat at uh, mau uh, municipal agriculture office ng barangay at ang menro at syempre ang opisina ni mayor inter nate ay napakaganda ko para mapangalagaan natin ang ating wetlands dito po sa ternate marami pong hindi nakakaalam na may mahalaga kong wetlands dito sa ternate sa maliban po sa maliga pagiging maganda yung beach na pinupuntahan yung mag summer ay ito na po ay napangalaga ang wetlands ay uh, privilege na kasama at naimbitahan sa management board ang aksyang kalikasan at bahagi ng aming ginagawa ay ang pagtatay, pagtatanim nitong mga bakawan, no? ating mga mangrove uh, ito pong bangka ang nakikita nyo ay uh, ito po ay ng uh, Bureau, of, uh, Bureau of Fisheries sa ating pong mga bantay dagat at 2 years ago ito na to turn over at napakalaki po ang naitutulong nito hindi lang sa kanilang kabuhayan kundi sa kanilang pagbabantay sa ating mga karagatan bilang mga deputized officer, environmental officer na nangangalaga sa implementasyon ng mga environmental laws, marine laws dito sa karagatan ng Ternate. At tulad din po na nakikita nyo, nagagamit din po siya tulad sa mga gawain na ito ng pagtatanim ng ating mga bakawan. So sama-sama po tayo, uh, bumisita po kayo rito sa Ternate at uh, tulungan nyo kami Tulungan niyo po sila sa Ray, ha, sila, sa, sila Mau ng ating municipal agri office, ng Menro, ha, ni, uh, ni Mayor, ha, ating barangay. Tulong-tulong po tayo. Ayusin po natin, ang, ibalik po natin ang bakawan. Sa... Uh, nandito po tayo sa Ternate, sa barangay Bukana. At kung makikita niyo yung sa beach area, may nakikita kayong mga bato dyan. At ito yung kanilang parang sandbar dito. At ito yung ating mga area ng bakawan na tinataniman. Marami nagtatanim dito, DNR, Menro, ang Mau, ang mga Farm Sea, Dagat, kami rin sa Aksyon Kalikasan. Uh, kakausapin po natin si Mang Romeo, no? Ronnie, si Mang Ronnie. Uh, na siya po ay matagal lang nakatera dito sa uh, barangay Bukana uh, para ho may paliwanag niya yung issue dito sa lugar. Mang Romy, papaliwanag naman po, ano bang nagiging problema niya dito? Yan nga, ang okay, problema po namin dito, yan ang bato na yan sa harapan. Kaya po yan, sumari, sana mali. Kasi kami, apektado pang bumabaho. Si imbis na ang tubig diretso, pili ako ang tubig. Kaya po nauubos yung magkabi ng panig ng baybay namin. So kinakayod po nung dalawang tubig yung paan, mga bahay-bahay? Eh, ano pong kan dyan? Anong remedyo kaya? Ay, kumalis po yan. Tapos ito nga yung sinilagay niya ito. Ay, sabi nga nung mayo kami, natanggalin. Pero walang iaalis na buhangin. Pukukayin para lang umupo sa to yan. Ah, para dumalo yan, tubig? Oo, para dumalo yan, tubig. Oh, pero natural naman pong buhabalik ko no, yan? Oo, natural. Natural ho. So, pag bahain, buhabalik siya, dumadaloy. Oh. Tapos pag sa matagal na panahon, nabalik, nabalik dahil galing sa dagat. Oh. Pero hanggat nandiyan yung bato? Ay, ganyan, ganyan din ang mga uh, Sino po itong nangunguha ngayon ng bato dyan, yung barko? Uh, pero maganda, at least nakukuha, no? Uh, okay, so maganda pala. Good news po pala dito sa Ternate. At least may ginagawang aksyon ng barangay official, ang ginagawang aksyon ng munisipyo, si Mayor, at yung kanilang menro, at uh, siguro at pati kasama ang MAU at mga iba pang grupo dito. Uh, maraming salamat, Rang Romy, at uh, mabuhay ho kayo. So ayun mga kaibigan, nakaita natin yung uh, naging project na Ternate Wetlands uh, Work Camp. Ayan. Napakahalaga po nung uh, sinasabi na, ano, na bakawan no, na maibalik kasi marami nasisira na yan. So we are hoping na this project would eventually continue. Uh, our only problem is the persistent uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. We cannot decide on what to do. That's why we're continuing with with educating everyone here on uh, Action Kalikasan TV, and we are hoping that uh, in time more and more people will be uh, educated and will be passionate about uh, the environment. No, kung hindi kasi uh, walang mga yari sa atin. No? 
Bago po ang patuloy mga kaibigan, gusto ko muna uling i-share yung uh, mensahe na binigay uh, last uh, episode. Itong mensahe yung binigay sa atin na uh, ni kasama uh, na Noel, ni Ka Noel, no? Napaka-meaningful po nung message niya last time. Uh, siya po ang auditor ng uh, Green Party of the Philippines. So let us share with you uh, his message again. Ayan, ito yung sabi ni Kanoel. Uh, sabi sa akin, i-share ko daw yung photo na ito kasi uh, gusto niyang sabihin sa lahat na alagaan po natin ang ating kaligasan upang di tayo sumapit sa yugtong ito ng buhay. Ang kagutuman. So mga kaibigan, sa Africa po nangyayari na yan. No? Yung matagal na nagkakaroon po ng famine, lalo na yung mga locust, uh, the locust farms that is happening in Africa. It's really devastating them. So I hope that we begin uh, realizing that food is indeed uh, more important than money. That's why during our, uh, I think, uh, our first three episodes, including the Earth Day episode last April 22, we are uh, discussing with you about a pharmacy or uh, gardening in your home with the... Uh, with the essential element of food and uh, medicine. So, yan po. Balikan ninyo mga ibigan yung aming mga previous episodes. Makikita nyo dyan yung mga example ng uh, pharmacy that will help uh, household become self-sufficient. Yan. Talagang yung yung picture kayo kasi nataonan lang na nakuhaan talaga eh, no? Mayroong vulture na nag-aabang dun sa bata. And it is uh, a very disturbing scene. That's why uh, we we are continuing uh, this program. Alam ko uh, beginning today we are evaluating if we would eventually ship this to a later time because I think siguro itong 1 to 2 p.m. Baka mga busog pa kayo, natutulog, nagsisyesta. Probably we're thinking about uh, shifting it to a later schedule like 2, 2 to 3 p.m. or 3 to 4 or 4 to 5. So we'll be, we'll be contemplating this kasi baka kayo mga tulog, mga may init sa bahay. But I hope that each episode you're learning something from Action Kalikasan TV and that you will share this video so that other people uh, will learn more as well. No? Uh, let's continue with uh, with our uh, our discussion about Aksan Kalikasan. Ito mga ibigyan naman, ilan dun sa mga sumama dun sa ating uh, Ternate Wetlands uh, Conservation Work Camp. Ito naman po si uh, Pastor Bernie, ang uh, treasurer ng Aksan Kalikasan. So Bernie, anong masasabi niyo sa ginagawa niyo itong araw na ito? Pag ipinagpatuloy ito, malaki ang maitutulong ito sa flood control. Kaya sana tayong mga mamamayan, sama-sama tayo, talakayin natin ang option talikasan. Marami ito naman po si Kagawad Ray ng uh, Bayan ng Ternate. Uh, Sir Ray, anong masasabi niyo sa ginagawa natin ngayon? Ay, ang masasabi ko lamang po ay yung maki sa lamuhat, maki, magtumulong sa pagtatanim ng mangrove para sa kalikasan. Gagaganda ho ng bayan ng Ternat. Salamat po. Maraming salamat. Okay. Andito po si Ma'am Lori, ang isa sa ating mga project, uh, volunteer project coordinator sa Aksyon Kalikasan. Ma'am Lori, hello, hello, uh, hello. ano ho masasabi niyo ma'am sa inyong ginagawa ngayong araw na ito? This is actually a work of love and This is a personal advocacy. So sana mas marami pa kami na inganyo at marami pang tumulong. So marami kaming at maging uh, extra careful at maging concerned sa kalikasan. Nakita niyo na, very rewarding yung mga kasama ka talaga dun sa conservation uh, Ano yan? Ternate Wetlands Conservation Work Camp. No? 
Kasi you will get the first-hand experience on how to uh, preserve and protect the environment. Eventually, it's an action that uh, that will grow with you. Kumbaga, parang mararamdaman mo, eto ako, tumutulong na ako sa kalikasan. Pero more than that, we need to slowly shift and change our lifestyle. Yung ano natin, pagka gamit-gamit ng mga plastic, kailangan simulan nating bawasan yan. Uh, even sa ating food consumption, yung mga sachet-sachet, kahit ako, nahihirapan akong gawin yan, pero eventually, uh, we need to change, no? At, uh, dito, mahalaga yung ano, eh, yung, uh, yung tinatawag natin na uh, governance, that's why uh, Action Kalikasan is also supporting for the establishment of a national uh, green party to the Uh, Green Party of the Philippines for the sole purpose of ensuring that uh, things like this are put into legislation ng sa ganun, ng preservation ng nature ay mapabilis and maging a state function and a nationwide endeavor. So again, uh, I hope you join Action Kalikasan and this time I'll be sharing you some of the uh, feedbacks from the volunteers Uh, of action kalikasan. Ito, uh, sa pang ng mango plantation, nakikita natin ang sense of volunteerism na kung saan um, walang hiningin bayad, wala kaming hiningin kapalit. Ang hiningin namin is environmental protection. Na kung saan para sa pagdating ng panibagong generasyon, makikita nila kung ano yung pinaghirapan ng action kalikasan para sa kabubuti at para sa kagaganda ng kanilang kinabukasan, ng kanilang pamumuhay kasi malaking tulong ang, pla- ang mangrove plantation particularly pag ito naging sanctuary na kung saan titirahan ng mag- mag- magkakaroon ng uh, conservation and preservation ng mga isla na uh, yung mga fisher fox sila makikinabang so, uh, mm, birthday ko pa <laughs> talaga ano mam ang masasabi niyo sa ating ginagawa um, ngayon? Maluang pa ang ating pagtatamnan. Kinakailangan lang maklear natin ang uh, delineation talaga ito. Uh, ibaba ito. Pero kung matatamnan natin talaga to ng mangrove, magandang epekto nito talaga sa Kasi hindi man ito uh-uh. ag bumabaha. Bano ito? Depensa sa baha. Hindi nakakasagaban sa daanan ng Ito na din ipatanim niya sa Coast Guard para Ayan. 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 So yun, again, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite everyone to come and join Action Kalikasan. You can visit our website at www.actionkalikasan.org. So sign up for membership and we will be processing your membership. Ayan, at this point in time, guys, I would also like to, to uh, thank everyone for supporting Action Kalikasan TV and also uh, to announce a new responsibility, the sana supportahan ninyo and sana uh, magampanan ko na maayos. I had been designated as the national president of uh, uh, the Green Party of the Philippines. It is a very uh, uh, vital responsibility which I hope I can accomplish and I can uh, I can work with my fellow officers of the National Council of the Green Party of the Philippines. I I I know that I'm kumbaga normy ako pagdating sa environmental things hindi naman ako environmental scientist hindi naman ako environmental guru I'm just someone who really cares for our, for our environment and uh, the endorsement of Roy Cabonegro as the interim president of uh, the Green Party of the Philippines puts me at the position na uh, Kumbaga, hindi pa tayo handa, pero kailangan nating 
umpisahan at kailangan nating pakatatagan kasi ito yung panahon para magsimula tayong kumilos para sa future ng mga anak natin at ng mga magiging anak nila. So, magsama-sama tayo guys. Let us bring into governance the green agenda. Let us protect our environment and ensure that we will have a greener environment, a greener Philippines in the future. Kasi pag pinawalang bahala po natin ito, baka late na late na, eh, saka pa lang tayo ikilos. So, sayang naman no, na ganito yung mangyayari sa atin. So, yun. Uh, so, announcement guys, we have uh, upcoming green days. Ito yung mga green days na nakalipas. So, World 2 na day po nung May 2. So, may ano na tayo. Ano pa tayo ngayon? May 20. So, World 2 na day. World Migratory Day. Migratory Bird Day naman nung May 9. Yan, sa mga ibon. And of course, ngayong May 20 is the World Bee Day. Yan. Our upcom uh, upcoming uh, green days, on the next couple of days, we have the World Biodiversity Day. This is coming up on May 22. Yan. Ang sinabi natin biodiversity, ito yung mga creatures no? of the planet. And on June 3, sana may event to, no? Magpagandang, uh, ano na to? Napagandang Green Day, World Bicycle Day. June 3. I don't know if we have a telecast on June 3. Kasi ngayon, May 20. Hindi ka pa po na check-check. Pero yan, World Bicycle Day. Let's see, meron ba tayong telecast ng June 3? Wednesday, yes. We will be having a telecast on June 3, which is officially the World Bicycle Day. So our telecast would be about World Bicycle Day and World Environment Day is on June 5. So one of our members of our youth, uh, Gio Alonte, will, will, I think he is part of the international celebration of the World Environment Day. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, uh, we invite you to share all of our episodes because you will learn a lot from each and every episode of Action Kalikasan TV. And guys, yun, thank you sa mga nanonood pa rin sa atin. Uh, Ran Tubig, uh, Marlon Aliman, uh, Rico Itsuki, maraming salamat po. Mom Rachel, thank you po sa pagsapat at panonood. Please share our video. Patuloy niyo po ilike ang aming page. And if you have videos that you want to share, you want to contribute something, learning, DIY, ano po gusto niyo ito about environmental conservation, what to do during the COVID-19 pandemic, just email it to us, message me on Facebook, David DeAngelo, or message the page of Action Kalikasan, that's facebook.com slash Action Kalikasan, and we will be more than willing to air it on our Action Kalikasan TV. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po also we would like to thank siyempre kung saan nagsimula ito Action Kalikasan TV siyempre sa BG8 Radio ni Voice Master Pocholo de Leon Gonzalez doon po tayo nagsimula mag air hanggang nagkaroon ng COVID-19 pandemic at ngayon air at home na tayo on the next episodes we'll be trying to talk about uh, the Green Party of the Philippines and hopefully we can have live uh, interviews with uh, fellow members of the Green Party Bakit ba may Green Party? Ano ba yung kailangan? Bakit ba kailangan yan? Share ba yung mga topics natin na gusto pag-usapan? At the same time, we would like to to share with you more videos on on uh, what you can do to protect and preserve our environment. So again, maraming maraming salamat po mga ibigan, sa patuloy na pagtangkilik ninyo sa Action Kalikasan TV. And today, we will end uh, our episode. This is season 3 episode 4 of Action Kalikasan TV with our prayer, uh, our COVID-19 pandemic prayer of recovery that is uh, made possible by different people. And uh, uh, it carries a song entitled Hold On for a little while longer kasi kailangan natin yan, kailangan natin kumapit, kailangan natin malampasan ang pagsubok na ito. Again, maraming maraming salamat mga kaibigan. Nagkasa susunod pong episode. Magkita-kita muli tayo sa Wednesday, 1pm to 2pm, dito pa rin sa Action 
Kalikasan TV. Ayan, nagbabalik ako. Mahirap, hindi eh. natin maayos yung ah, baka laki ng video. <laughs> so, ay, mahirap sa live uh, episode. Pag nag-ano ka, hindi mo makita yung ano mo, pero mm-hmm. hindi mo makita yung yung ine-edit mo. Pero yon hindi natin pwede i-play yung video kasi hindi naman tayo pwede mag-edit habang nagla-live. So, pero try din natin. I-adjust lang naman natin yung screen size. Eh, ito mga kaibigan ng ating COVID-19 prayer. And thank you again. See you again next week.
Your idea is part of what defines you. That desire to name it and make it real. Giving you the tools and insights is what defines you.